Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video tutorial, I'll derive and explain uh, how to use a null pass filter. So, a null pass filter looks like this. It has a single op amp. And we're going to assume this is an ideal op amp for now with really high loop gain. and all the resistor values are the same here's our input and here's our output right so now uh, we'll define this as V plus and this node is the same as V plus also so let's do KCL I1, I2. Let's first define what is V plus. V plus is equal to a voltage divider. VI times R over R plus 1 over SC. And let's go ahead and simplify this by multiplying top and bottom by SC. You have VI SRC 1 plus SRC. Right? Uh, let's make this a little clearer. Okay, so that's our V plus. Now I'm going to do KCL at the V minus node. Use a different color. Alright, so I1 is equal to I2, and that is V in minus V plus equals to V plus minus V out, and both of them are divided by R. So you don't really care about the R S lines, they're the same. So in terms of V out and the V in, V out is equal to V in um, 2 V plus minus V in, that uh, is V out is equal to V in to SRC. Now I'm just substituting for V plus. 1 plus SRC minus 1. So let's write our trans function, which is, uh, let's define our trans function as H of S. So equal to V out over V in of S. Is equal to two SRC, and we want to comp combine the terms on a, so that we have a single denominator. So we're just going to write this as one plus SRC over one plus SRC, right? And once you combine the terms, you get SRC minus 1 over 1 plus SRC which is can be defined uh, and then you just divide everything by uh, RC so you get S minus 1 over RC S plus 1 over RC which will define 1 RC as omega naught so that's S minus omega naught S plus omega naught Okay, and that's our chance function. Okay, uh, so now we have the chance function, and let's verify that it's an all pass filter in D. So let's find the uh, DC and, and daylight gain in phase. So at DC, the magnitude of at DC of S equals zero, is equal to one, because it's when S is zero, you have minus omega naught over omega naught, and, and the absolute value of that is just one, right? And let's go ahead and find the magnitude at at daylight, which is uh, omega equal infinity. 
so the magnitude of h of s equals to infinity equals to s over s this is one. You ignore the omega naught because infinity is a much greater than omega. Okay. Uh, now let's look at the phase. Now let's um, change color to orange. So to find the phase, you have to let's see. Yeah, let's 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 let o s equals to omega. So we substitute s for omega. So phase now is a function of the uh, radio frequency. It goes to the tangent inverse of omega over minus omega naught, right? Because this is the imaginary term and this is the real term. So the phase is defined as the tangent inverse of the imaginary over the real term. minus tangent inverse of omega over omega naught. Since this this term is in uh, on in the denominator, you have to put a negative sign if you want to combine the two to get the phase, the total phase. But you notice that this is on the um, second quadrant, and that's is equivalent to having 180 degrees minus the tangent inverse of omega over omega naught. So basically to remove the negative sign over here outside, you have to put 180 minus that. And this is, uh, the reason why we're doing this is because it becomes more obvious later on to prove that this is indeed an all-pass filter. That is, at DC you have a 180 degree phase shift and at infinity, you have a zero degree phase shift. Okay? So, uh, simplify the t these uh, terms. You have minus two tangent inverse of omega over omega naught. Right? So, at DC, omega equals to zero. You have tangent of zero over this is tangent of inverse of zero, which is zero, so you have 180. At daylight, you have 180 minus 2 times 90. Right, tangent inverse of infinity is 90 degrees, and this gives you zero. So this is indeed an all-pass filter by what we have proved so far. And, yeah. Alright, um, I guess this will conclude the video tutorial. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think. I uh, have any questions or did it go too fast, too slow? Let me know. Thanks for watching. Please rate or comment.